Okay, um, in, in terms of chapter six, there are a couple of inspirations to that chapter. One, there was a growing field of environmental history. Environmental history is interested in a number of different things as it relates to human being relationship to the natural world. One, with how people actually transform the natural world. Two, how the natural world plays constraints on human development. And then three, how people think about the natural world. And I thought that the third, the sixth chapter, rather, was a way for me to look at how African Americans thought about the natural world. And as I read autobiographies, as I read slave folklore, as I read interviews of former slaves, I got a sense of how important, how central, really, the natural world was to the ways that slaves thought about power, the way they thought about the conversion to Christianity, which takes me to the second, what I think of as influence and uh, the ultimate development of that chapter. And that is the engagement that I have had since my graduate training with the literature on slavery religion. Much of the literature on slavery religion, of course, draws conclusion that slaves became Christian by the end of the antebellum period. But the question that I was posed with is how did that happen? And how was the process by which slaves adopted Christianity with the language of Christianity? What was their understanding of Christianity? And again, as I read this material, it became fairly clear that nature became the language, became the medium by which slaves understood, came to terms with this faith of Christianity. So it wasn't unlike perhaps the early years of Christian faith itself, which has in some of its expressions pagan roots. And so what I do is look at, as it were, the pagan roots of African American Christianity um, with examples, of course, of slaves being baptized in rivers, with examples of slaves in the field saying that they were struck down, struck dead by the Holy Spirit. And so the very context within which slaves experienced Christianity were converted uh, to that religion is, is important, particularly if we think about the fact that only 5% or so of slaves at the time of the Civil War were literate. So what was the language, what was the means by which slaves have adopted this, uh, this belief system and this way of life? And I would say that the natural world, as it were, became the medium by which slaves were able to do that. And so that's my contribution to the literature on slave religion. So my interest has been largely scholarly, that is, the debate concerning the relationship between the human beings and the environment. And the second thing, how did African Americans embrace Christianity? And then I have personal interest as well. As I've known people, African Americans, who have spoken to me about their understanding of the natural world, whether it's working people who go fishing and talk about how important, how meaningful it is to go out and deal with the calm, experience the calm of the lakes that they fish in um, and the like. So those are some of the inspirations of it. That is how I think that those, that chapter can best be situated intellectually, and that's ultimately how, how it would develop.